perpetrator repeatedly struck the decedent about the face and neck while the perpetrator was standing over him. New testimony today against a man charged with killing his lover's husband. Jacob Fisher is on trial in the death of Amar al Yasari earlier this year in Holt. Carla Byron was in court today and tells us what witnesses say happened before, during and after the murder. The Myers, a married couple, lived across the street from the al Yasaris. They testified they saw a man walking down their neighborhood street the evening of Amar's murder. They couldn't see the man's face, but they say he was wearing a drawstring backpack. It had to have something in it. Um, I couldn't see or we couldn't see any outline of Anything in it. David Meyer says he saw this same person walking into the Al Yasari home without a problem. At that point, that individual, the door was open to the house. He was taking a long stride into the house and like taking his right hand and slamming the door behind him. A forensic scientist with Michigan State Police testified there were no signs of forced entry into the house and there was no evidence of a robbery. Smith also says it doesn't appear that a struggle happened in the hallway near the basement entrance. Due to the lack of the staining observed on the bottom of the decedent's socks, he did not appear to have walked around in this area once the attack or bloodletting event took place. A bottle of bleach with blood stains was found near Amar's body. My belief that the perpetrator pulled the hood of the decedent's sweatshirt up over his face and attempted to alter the evidence and the patterns at the scene by pouring liquid bleach over the walls the decedent and the blood pools observed on the floor. And that was Carla Byron reporting for us there. Police say they found a Kroger receipt that belonged to Fisher, showing he bought a camp axe and a bottle of bleach. The trial resumes tomorrow morning, and we will keep you updated.